milk, oatmeal, chocolate, and oyster? These are all variations of stouts. So what exactly is a stout? Let's find out together. Hello friends, welcome to Happy Hour with Ollie. I'm Ollie, and what are we drinking today? Today we will be drinking this The Dark Cow Chocolate Hazelnut Belgium Stout from Fuggles and Warlock Brewing. I bought this beer for this picture right here. Look at this. Doesn't this look like Darth Vader to you? It was calling to me. It was going, Ollie, buy this beer. Drink this beer. But before I open up this beer, first it's time for Did You Know? Did you know that stout originally meant proud and brave in Old and Middle English? It wasn't until after the 14th century that the word stout come to mean strong. The first ever documentation of a stout as a beer happened in 1677 in the Egerton Manuscript, where stout referred to a strong beer. At that time, any beer could be called a stout, provided that it was strong enough. It wasn't until the 18th century, however, that the stout permanently intertwined with the most popular beer at the time, the porter. Stay tuned because I will cover porter in another episode. Make sure you click on the subscribe and notification buttons so you'll see the episode as soon as it drops. Nowadays, according to the Beer Judge Certification Program, a stout is known as a very dark, roasty, bitter, creamy ale. And although the stout is technically a dark ale, sometimes the flavor can actually be very light and sweet, as in the cases of milk stouts and oatmeal stouts. Others, like the Irish stout, think Guinness, feature intense malt flavors and charcoal bitterness, sometimes with varying degrees of acidity as well. Oyster stouts and chocolate stouts are brewed with a small amount of their namesake ingredients. Beer that was originally exported from England to the Baltic region, also known as imperial stouts, can sometimes be very strong, going up to around 10% alcohol. They also feature intense malt, hop, and chocolate forward flavors. So in short, stout comprises of a large range of beers, from ones that are super light and sweet to ones that are very thick, dark, and bitter. The fun is in trying every single one of them and finding the ones you love. All right, so now we're done with the learning. Time to crack open the beer. So as you can see, it is very dark and black and I can't see through it at all. Oh, the aroma of chocolate is super strong. Yep, chocolate. I wanna be able to say I'm getting hops and other things in there, but no, all I'm smelling is chocolate. It smells really good actually. This is very deliciously sweet. As soon as the beer goes into your mouth, you think, ah, oh, chocolate. It's got that wonderful sweetness as well as a juicy component as well. The head is not super fine, but is very creamy. I feel like the sweetness of this beer very quickly fades into a tang. It's got a certain degree of acidity to it. So it's kind of like you just ate a very large mouthful of chocolate, but inside embedded in the chocolate are some very yummy dried fruits. 
So you've got that lovely fruity sweetness plus a little bit extra tang. I really don't get very much hazelnut at all. After the tanginess comes a hint of bitterness as well. And it's kind of keeping in line with that bittersweet chocolate flavor. So that bitterness is a very good ending, gives a good ending, a finishing to the beer. And the whole thing finishes kind of juicy on your tongue. So in short, I would describe it as robust, sweet, bittersweet coffee forward, plus a little bit of juicy citrus tang. All in all, it's a very nice drinkable beer. In short, I really do like this beer. It's lovely and smooth and very, very drinkable. It has some really nice chocolatey sweet flavors. Just because it has a significant component of citrusy tanginess involved, I would be sure not to pair this beer with any dessert that is overly sweet. Just because that in comparison, this beer will seem too sour. But other than that, I do think it is quite a versatile beer. It would be very lovely to have with other snacks and perhaps um, other desserts that are not too overly sweet either. Would I buy it again? You betcha. Are you a fan of stouts? What other interesting stouts have you tasted before? And what interesting stouts do you have to recommend to me? Please comment below and let me know. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you'll never miss a happy hour adventure with me. Also, be sure to look me up on Instagram and use the hashtag happy hour with Ali. Until we drink again next time, cheers mates, take care. Bye.